Larry asked me if I could uh, do a demo on turning bottle stoppers, and that's a, a pretty um, pretty easy thing to do. But I wanted to do it three different ways. Uh, I want to turn it with the conventional cork, the silicon, and then the uh, one that you screw in that's a, uh, a metal stopper bottom that you purchase. So I thought I'd do the more difficult one first. So I don't run out of time. One of the things that uh, that I use is this collet, which is you can get it from the little machine shop for about ten dollars, and you can get the rod from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. And I got this little for my lathe, this little plumbing fixture from Meeks to sort of line it up at the end, and it fits in here. This one doesn't work that way, but in any case, just spin it on like this. And I purchased this little adapter here that is threaded 3 16 3 8 and it fits right in this collet. And it comes with a bushing. snug it down, it's not going to go anywhere. Then you take an 11 30 seconds inch um, drill bit and drill down an appropriate distance. And then you use a tap that matches that. Three eighths, sixteenth, and just tap it. And I did that ahead of time to save some time. Now, You know what's really bad is, you know you're getting old when your safety glasses are bifocals. <laughs> so now I'll do the most boring part of this, and that's turning this thing into a cylinder. And I've never turned on this particular lathe except I did have an opportunity to visit with David and he was kind enough to allow me to turn so we'll see now here's a part that when I ever go to a demo I kind of hate it because I'm sitting there watching somebody now what I do is I just take a, a regular like a, a shear cut just to be a little delicate because I don't want to break it off, especially if you have one that you're using as a dowel, it's wood. This one's a lot more robust. One of the things that, uh, yeah, it's not there yet, but it's pretty close. Um, one of the things that I asked Larry um, advice on a demo, and he said, don't say oops too many times. <laughs> so, the one thing that I want to do at this point is take it off and take that little bushing out of there and this is really important for this type of, of bottle stoppers you want to have a perfectly if not flat at least a little bit of an indentation 
so that the actual stopper fits on there flat. Now this is a parting tool, a Sorby parting tool. It's fluted. It's a nice parting tool. Nick Cook was using this parting tool. And someone said, I'll sharpen that for you. And they took it over and they sharpened the flutes right off. It's supposed to sharpen the, the short part. Since I don't like to screw up that one, if I hit the metal, I take my cheek for stop one. They're no longer available. Okay. This particular design works well for me. I'll just take the parting tool. Go in a good distance. And you want to give the, the base some interest. What I like to do is make it sort of like an egg cup so it's sitting up. So I'll put a little shoulder in here. Now it really doesn't matter too much about how you finish the top because I want to put a cabochon in there. So I'll go back to my trusty skew, which I don't use as a skew. It makes a wonderful scraper. That's coca -Bola. It's really hard stuff, and it's
and I think I'm finally becoming a little more allergic to it. No, well, yeah, but after I finish with it, I go to I go to the bathroom and wash my hands. It's just uh, something about it. Okay. I want to make it a little more interesting, so I put a couple of marks in here, and here's one tip for you. I don't like to get anywhere close to a wire. And I know they make them with little balls on them. But this feels a lot safer to me. Just make my own, just a piece of wire. It's just a hacksaw blade. Yeah. Just wire, steel, you know, pitcher wire or something. Bailing wire. Barbed wire? Yeah. That'd be tricky. <laughs> 